Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and welcome to this quick video post. In today's video post I want to show you guys some basic skin retouching techniques. Alright so let's get right into it. First of all you guys can see already we have again a original layer down here then our normal retouch layer. We've got a lips group and a help layer. Now lips was from last week's tutorial so if you haven't seen that please fall back on that tutorial. And yes let's get right into it. On our help layer I'm going to turn that on and on the help layer I'm just going to go over to my brush select a new foreground color over here say yellow okay and then I'm just going to point out quickly what I want to retouch so I'm not going to do a completely retouch today I just want to show you some techniques alright first of all what I do is have my image at a full screen mode and then I can already see okay I need to retouch that this I have a lot of dots here there I need to retouch this a little bit this a bit over here are quite some lines also with a lot of tones here then some lines here lines there, there we have a dot over here then also over there, there's some lines here there's quite a lot to retouch on this image, some necklines then also over here then we have a beauty spot over here which I wouldn't retouch for a client's work but if or if it's a model portfolio but if it's for my own work I would retouch that then over here over there there are quite a lot of areas that we need to retouch so first of all what I do is at 100% just look at my image see okay this is what's pointing out then mostly I zoom in a little bit more and just see okay here between the eyes and between the eyebrows are a lot of small hairs so I need to get rid of all these small hairs so that I shouldn't forget then if I go zoom through my image here a little bit more then I would see okay here on the eyebrows are still a lot that would be completely a new chapter to retouch actually that has nothing to do with the skin but just to point it out quickly then also over here there's quite a lot to retouch over here we have a few hairs here then also of that so if you zoom in that far in you will see there is quite a lot alright so let's go back out again and start with our healing or with our basic skin retouching. Alright, turn off our help layer and first step that I'm going to do is create a new layer, empty layer and call that the healing layer. Alright, on the healing layer I mostly take my healing brush and just work with the healing brush on that layer. Not too much with the spot healing tool or with the patch tool because they don't work on the empty layer. So I'm going to work just with the healing brush. Select my healing brush and then also at the top I'm going to set my pen pressure sensitivity on. I'm working with the Vacuum Intenuous 4 board again. So via my board I'm also able to change my wheel. If you don't have that please go up here to the left hand side and select your hardness and size over here or do your feathering through control alt again left and right change your brush size up and down feathering mode okay then also here at the top align sample we're gonna set that to all layers yes not current layer because if you work on an empty layer you won't clone or heal anything okay make my brush really really small and then I can zoom in and just heal areas again say for instance over here I want to heal that so very close by hold alt select an area and heal over the area so this is actually a technique that I would use to just do my basic skin retouching and just retouch everything a little bit. But then over time I notice when I do this, especially as you guys can see here now, I did sample a little bit of all these dark areas and I sampled or healed all the luminosity and tones which I don't want. I just want to heal the textures. So I need to have a new technique for that. So what I did is just go zoom out again a little bit and I'll create a new layer that I'm going to blur so we're going to break all these pixels and all the, the textures this is a no means a technique that you use just to retouch skin you won't just blur your skin you use it in a progress so blur the skin then we just keep our tones and luminosity but we're breaking the textures and details then we're going to create a new layer or have a second layer and on there we're going to do a high pass do the opacity down a little bit and change our blending options and with that we're creating new details and with that we can retouch again so let me do that quickly first of all on our healing layer I'm going to press command alt shift E mask the shortcut and create a new layer and I'm going to rename that new layer to blur enter command J duplicate that layer and I'm going to write to this layer detail detail okay then I'm going to select both layers with command or shift and press command G and put that in the master group and we're going to call that our basic skin 
basic skin over here, enter, and we're good. Okay, so now on our basic skin, first of all, the detail layer, we're going to blend that out. We're going to go over to the blur layer and blur that a little bit. So we go up to filter, we're going to go to blur and gaussian blur. Now I'm going to blur it around 20 pixels. As you guys can also see, our skin is super soft and we have no details or textures whatsoever but we have all the dark tones and the light tones and all the luminosities. It's still there, but we have a super soft skin. So say OK, and we're going to keep it like that. Then we're going to go over to Details, and in Details we're going to create another filter, and we're going to go over to Other High Pass. Now in High Pass, exactly with the same radius, also 20 pixels, we're going to say OK that as well and we have a gray layer now. So as you guys can see, we do have all textures and we have more details again. So in my details layer now, I'm going to go to the blending options here and change my blending options to linear light. Voila! There we have a new skin, but it looks terrible. It looks really, really too much and it looks just not nice at all. So let me try to take down my opacity over here. Let me do it to say 50% and then our skin looks better already. But I still have another problem with this. If I zoom in a little bit closer, may I say for instance on the eye, I'm just going to make the group here a little smaller and going to blend out the group. Now have a look on the highlights and on the dark parts here. If I'm going to blend it in, it starts to get dull a little bit, especially on the highlights in the eyes. Have a look over there. It gets dull again. So I don't want that actually. I want to still have my image at a nice contrasty highlighted and dark areas. So zoom out again and we're going to go a few steps back. We, I think the problem lies with the high pass. So what we're going to do is create a fake or actually our homemade high pass. So go back here in your history panel, go back a few steps to high pass, no actually gauge and blur. Yes, that's what we wanted. Okay, now we're going to go over to our detailed area layer here again and in the detail layer we're going to go to image and in here we're going to say apply image. So now we're going to create our homemade high pass. Okay, in apply image, first of all what we're going to do is set our layer not to details, we want to set it to blur. That's why we also had to blur it at the same pixel rate or keep this at the same rate. Then RGB channel invert, that's very important. You have to tick off invert otherwise it's not going to work. Tick off invert and then your blending options would normally be at normal. Change that to add and your opacity 100% and scale 2. You have to keep it at 2 otherwise it's not going to work and your offset zero. Say OK and you're good to go. Now I'm working with a 16-bit image. If you're working with an 8-bit image you would have to change some stuff in here. You would have to say subtract as a blending option and you will also have to do it scale at 2 and set your offset to 128. Not further, not smaller, not higher, nothing, 100, 128. Okay, I'm going to set it back to 0 and set it back to add because I'm working with the 16 bit. Say OK and now you can already see it rendering everything and it doesn't look that nice because I added a little bit of this white here but the effect works on the image itself. Then what we're going to do is with our blending options here with our layer we're going to set that also to linear light. And now have a look. Wow, we didn't even need to change our opacity or anything. The skin looks already good. And it looks more realistic as well. There's nothing of a big effect or anything. It still looks very good. Okay, blend that in or out. You won't see a big effect, especially on the eyes. We still have our highlights and also our dark areas over here. If I'm going to blend it in or out, nothing happens. Everything stays the same. And now I do have two options to retouch. First of all, my detail layer, just to retouch with textures and the patterns and stuff. If I'm going to work on the blur, I'm going to work in the luminosity and tones a little bit. So let me do that quickly. On details, I'm going to zoom in here, press with J my healing brush tool again. Then first of all, what you if I'm going to brush now or heal, you will see that it's not going to work. That is because our sampling here at the top is still set to all layers. You have to set it now to current layer. So do that. I must probably just have to go back here in my blending options. Yes, okay. And then current layer, that's right over here. And now we can start healing everything. And have a look. If I heal now, we're only healing with the texture, which is so, so nice. Okay, if I'm now I can work really quickly and don't need to worry. I can just heal all these textures, especially down here. If I'm going to work under the eye over here, we had this a little bit of a darker patch down here. Sorry. 
dark patch over here now I can just sample all these or heal all of these spots away but we still have the dark shadows underneath right so what I'm going to do is go to my blending or my blur layer over here, sample an area from here and have a look and just sample over here and all these dark shadows go away already a little bit. Over here, if I'm going to zoom out a little bit, you guys can see it a little bit more. Obviously, this does take a little bit of work and it's not working on the first time always, so you have to work it a little bit, but it does already look way, way better than before, especially if you go down here there as well. Now I can retouch on my detail layer really quickly and just have a nice workflow and just work on all these areas. So that's the first step that I would actually do is just go very close again to my areas that I want to heal and just heal everything away. Especially on the beauty spot, heal that really quickly and I don't need to worry about all the tones or luminosity. Over here and even the hairs over here if you want to get rid of that just really quickly over that. Wow, that takes it out really, really nicely. Then most of the time, zoom in very closely and just with your healing brush again, make your brush smaller. Always that's very important. Change your brush sizes, very, very important. Okay, over here, very nice. I can just heal all these textures. So that's what I would mostly do then. Sit here for another, say, 30 to 40 minutes and just retouch all of these, which I'm not going to show you guys now because it's going to be way too long. I just wanted to show you guys quickly this technique that I use to retouch. And then yes, for all of you who are still with me, I do have a little surprise for you guys. If you are interested in more in retouching and knowing more about skin retouching and eye retouching, also hair and everything that you want to do for your beauty stuff, we created a new complete package for you guys, which is a DVD package where I'm showing you guys a complete workflow from A to Z. I'll show you all my techniques, all my tips, all my tricks that I use to retouch this. So 90 minutes of pure retouching. We spaced it into seven chapters 21 techniques showing you guys all the effects that I do on this image I also added a little bit of a high key and beauty effect for you guys there so if you want to buy this DVD you can also find this DVD now in the local shops on my Manny Photography online store or you can find it under Kiki you can find it at Orms, Belleville and Cape Town and you can find it in photo hire store here in Cape Town then also on the DVD we've added the extra PSD file we've added the extra raw files for you guys the instruction files some block badges once you completed this training you can add this block badge to your blog and we also added some action scripts so I hope you guys learned something today and I hope you you guys are interested in this DVD. My name is Manny. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys all next week in another tutorial. Bye bye guys.